a big issue is disposal of these compounds. It used to be that we would teach people to actually flush them down the toilet, and this is not a good idea and it should be eliminated. So definitely, people should not be flushing their pharmaceuticals or their antibiotics down the toilet. Uh, so it's, it's going into, back into our water, so it's going from our toilets back into the Mississippi. Essentially, our society sort of flushes and forgets. Uh, cities are now starting to have days where they'll collect all these compounds. Um, and it becomes, it's a, it's a fairly difficult social issue to collect these compounds from the public because many drugs are illicit and many drugs are, are very, very personal. Um, I don't know of many men who would be really open about bringing in all of their Viagra and giving it away, okay? There's, there's an embarrassment factor. People can see if they can return them to a pharmacist or, in the worst case, double bag them and put them into the normal trash can so they get to the landfill. Flushing it down the toilet will send it out into the world. Putting it in the trash puts it into a landfill where hopefully it's better contained. I think the solution to endocrine disrupting compounds will actually lie in our own households. Eliminate the unnecessary use of various antibacterials that are pervasive in our society. Antibacterial soap does nothing for us. Good old fashioned regular soap without antibacterial does the same thing. Uh, the old fashioned soap does a fine job and we don't need antimicrobial soaps. There are also a lot of other antibacterial products that we use quite regularly that we probably don't need to use. For example, neosporin is used to help our cuts feel, heal a little bit faster. We probably could do without that. That's another antibacterial. There are now toothpastes that have triclosan, which is another antibacterial in it, to help us with our gum disease. Perhaps maybe we should just learn to floss. Uh, we can be a little bit more careful with our detergents and laundry soaps. Uh, use only as much as is necessary, not you know, a little bit extra for, for good measures. So there are things people can do just by being a little bit more careful with what they use and how much they use and how they dispose of things. And that will make a big difference. Another avenue by which we can improve the problem is to limit the amount of hormones and antibiotics that are used in agriculture. And this has been extremely controversial because basically we get a little bit better, cheaper meat for a very catastrophic problem. Organic farming proves, pretty much, that there's enough natural materials out there to not have to use the things we're using. We just have to learn how to scale these up effectively. It's really good to try to prevent as much as we can, even if we don't know exactly what the effects are. I mean, I'm willing to say that I think we have a problem looming. <laughs> how big a problem, I don't know. I mean, I think it's clear that there is a problem, so it's cost-benefit. How much effort are we going to put into solving it with what we know at this time? The nice part about wastewater treatment is we already have the infrastructure to do something about the problem. Wastewater treatment is not as good as it could be, or perhaps it should be, as far as attacking the problem of hormones, pharmaceuticals, antibiotics, or even antibiotic-resistant bacteria. And we have the technology available to actually treat and remove these compounds. It's just a matter of getting our act in gear and then doing something about it. Yell. Um, ultimately, in this country, we are political. The decisions we make are political, like it or not. It's a question of how your elected representatives respond and then pushing on them. What you can do as an individual is decide where you're going to put your money and what's important to you. And my classic example of this is we spend seven hundred and eighty billion dollars a year in the United States on recreational activities. Pretty good percentage, you know, compared with taxes, that's pretty high. Question, how are we going to spend our monies? What's important to us?